Africa. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back. Um, so where am I? Second home, Dartmoor. It's amazing down there. Uh, my last video that you've seen was of um, me telling you about the wild camp and that, and you haven't seen anything from it. Did I go? Absolutely I did. Did I get wet? Absolutely I did. It was horrendous weather. It was so misty, so wet. I didn't want to get the camera out. It was but I had an amazing time, like really fantastic time. Anyway, I'm back down. Where am I today? I'm at Meldon Reservoir, as you can probably see behind me over here. Um, we're just having a walk around. We've got about a two and a half mile walk sort of planned out. We're gonna go around, see what images we can get. I know there's, got, if I can't get some sort of image, then there's something wrong with me today because uh, this place is gorgeous. It's all gray in the sky. It's a bit, but who cares? I'm out, we're doing it. Let's go and have a little look, see what we can find. Come on, let's go. So here we are, first composition of the day. So there you go, have a look at that. So yeah, that one's quite a nice little composition. And now, let's get the cheap filters on it and see if we can get some dream. So I've gone F18, 20 second timer, up uh, 20 second timer. Come on Lee, think man, think. 20 second shutter speed, ISO 100, two second timer. Let's leave that one to cook and see what it looks like. Right, I'm going to pack up here and mosey on to the next location. I don't know why I'm dancing today. Every time I talk, I do a little wiggle. Apologies about that. Let's go, let's go and find some more. Go on then, go on, tell me that that's not worth a shot. Go on, I dare you. I absolutely dare you. Woo! I need some foreground interest. So I might just have a wander around. In fact, I'm probably gonna make a brew. Cup of tea. Actually a coffee. And then I'm going to get the tripod down here. I'm going to frame up and I'm going to find something. Now, what I'm, the reason I'm going to stop and have a drink in a minute is we've got a bit of cloud above us, but it keeps breaking. And I'm hoping, I'm really hoping, that we get enough break that it lights up down there. Because if it lights up, we're going to start seeing some really autumny bracken, ferns, um, some yellowy golden leaves. There's still... Oh. It's going to be brilliant. It is going to be. If it's not brilliant, I'm disappointed. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. How can I be disappointed? I'm sat down here next to a river. It's fantastic, guys. It is amazing. Just goes to show, doesn't it? How many times do I say it? How many times do I tell you guys? Get off your ass. Get out there. Because it's. You see this. What do you mean you've seen it on YouTube now so you don't have to? Don't be stupid, get up, get out. <laughs> right, let's have a brew, wait for this sunlight, hopefully. Mm -hmm. 
Right, I think I've found the composition that's going to look best for me. Um, the sun may pop through in a minute, which will make it even more awesome, but this is what it is. Hopefully in a minute you will see that there's some lovely lines here. So you've got the river running down to the left, sorry, to the right. You've got the rocks leading up to the right on the left. It just, there's a lot of triangles. There's a lot of leading lines and I hope it doesn't make it too busy, which there is always a chance it could do and your eye will wander everywhere. But it all comes out into this sort of calmer pool, which I think looks quite nice. Anyway, this is my favorite image. Have a look, see what you think. When you're out places like this, stop and take as many photos as you want, of course. But sometimes, it can, it can become overwhelming and you just try and shoot everything and you rush about and, and you really, really, you don't come away with the best you could possibly get. Now we're all, all of us are, have done that in the past. Most of us will continue to do so. Uh, I know I do. I tend to get down to an area like this. Oh, look at the, look at the water. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the tree. Look at that. Look at the sky. Look at that. And I'm just constantly trying to snap, 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 snap. And I get back and I'm like, yeah. It's a nice image, slightly out of focus. Nice image, bit too bright. Nice image, bit too dark. Didn't take my time. So for this week, my challenge to you is to go out and just take one or two images on your walk. Now what that will do is that will really make you think about composition. It really, really make you think about um, lighting. If you limit yourself to two images, and the only reason I say two, really, one landscape, one portrait, yeah? Now, what that will do for you is, like I just said, it, it, will, it will really make you look at the landscape. It will really, really make you focus on what you're doing and what you're capturing and how you're capturing it. So, yeah, this week's challenge on your next outing with the camera, two images. That's it, two images. And what I'll do is, depending on the results I get in the comments, I say results, depending on the comments, if anyone took the challenge on, next week when I go out, I promise I will take two images. So if that's something you'd be interested in seeing, just me going out taking just two images, which will be, it'll be a challenge for me, it really will. But if that's something that you think you'd enjoy, drop a comment in the in the section below um, and yeah I'll do it anyway that's next week maybe not this week this week I'm going to carry on taking lots of images and splatter them all over this video maybe if they come out right anyway I think I'm going to stay in this area for a minute I am actually going to get that brew on because I am quite thirsty and for anyone that keeps it what is he on about a brew that's what us Brits call tea, a cup of tea, a nice brew. So I'm going to grab one of those, stop boring you, stop babbling on about rubbish and catch up with you in a minute. See ya. So, nice coffee, little brew. Get a bit of sunlight on me so yeah we're just uh rumbling along and we knew there was a pool of some sort down here what i didn't understand or what i didn't realize was how bloody marvelous it looked i hope i can capture this one have a look at this guys Right, I'm going to set up for a couple of shots and try and get that reflection. And to be honest, I haven't done much reflection, so it's all going to be a bit of a learning curve for me. So I think I'm going to go filters, slow it down. I don't know, no idea. Let me get set up a minute, talk you through the settings. Let's see if we can capture this. This is gorgeous. So there we go. Last one, 10 seconds. F18 ISO 50.
and we sit and wait for it to cook. I love it. I love it. That's it for this location then guys. That is fantastic. So actually, I think I'm going to end it here, why I can. Um, thank you so much for watching. You've been fantastic as always. I've been fantastic as always. Just kidding, just kidding. Now it's been absolutely great down there. We've got some nice images. Um, and I said before, I'm going to come down here at least once a month and do a wild camp for some nice sunrise sunset shots. But I'm also going to look forward to exploring this area. It's got so much, so much versatility. There's, there's water, there's tours, like there's woodlands. There's, there's just so much down there and it's not that far. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to it. Anyway, you have been fantastic. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Uh, thank you for all your likes, your comments, your subscribes. Um, if you think of anyone that may benefit from a few tips that I give, if they are tips or things not to do that I do you know what I mean share the video comment like subscribe all the usual stuff thank you so much for watching you've been absolutely amazing until next time take it easy bye bye